I'm going to show you how to make your landing book recession resilient and how to save millions of dollars in credit losses in a corporate lending. My name is Tamás Várkonyi. I'm the founder and CEO for Quantitative Credit Research. And I would like to introduce you RiskAware, an innovative credit risk management application that can improve risk management practices at financial institutions. There are three ways RiskAware can add value to existing practices. First of all, it can predict corporate defaults better and earlier. It RiskAware has achieved 75% accuracy ratio as opposed to 50-60% of existing models. That's significantly better. Secondly, RiskAware will give you a better understanding of credit risk. It will improve, make more accurate credit risk assessment and deeper understanding. This will help you to select loans at origination which are going to perform well later and not to invest in credits which are not so good. Third, it will cut, cut SLA times in risk management. It can reduce times from two, three hours to two, three minutes in some cases. So that's going to enhance your business and make it quicker. So let me show you how this works in practice. This is the first screen for the application, and this is just a regular input, the balance sheet and the profit and loss account for ABC Group, our sample company. And uh, we just upload the data by the push of a button, and, uh, and, this, and the software is going to calculate the actual cash flow statement for the borrower. This is going to save for your analyst a couple of hours because here on the right hand side you can see that revenues, EBITDA, CAPEX and uh, all the other working capital and free cash flow is calculated by the software. As a second step, the risk cover is making a five year cash flow forecast based on the company specification, the industry and the historical cash flow statement and what is new it takes into account the actual macroeconomic environment. This is very important because at the time of the crisis, nobody put credit risk really into context and thought that the macroeconomic environment didn't play a big role. Here you can see the macroeconomic assumptions built into the model for different countries and uh, for the next five years, GDP growth, inflation, risk-free rates and FX rates. This is used to do the cash flow forecast for the borrowers. But we haven't only used one scenario for future uh, macroeconomic environment, because if you want to test how safe is your credit, you want to put it to the test. The same way as if you want to know how safe is a car, you want to run crash test. So we ran 32 scenarios to see how the borrower's future cash flow generation reacts to different macroeconomic scenarios. Like not only the base case exists, but we looked at worst cases and not only one, but uh, 32. Here you can see the 32 scenarios for the macro scenarios and for, for the company performance. And all of these calculation, calculations are summarized in one chart where we compare the actual debt level of the borrower, you can see that's the red line, and the present value of the future cash flow generation of the borrower, which is the blue area called the enterprise value. We define default and distance to default as the connection between the actual debt level and the enterprise value of the company. Here you can see the debt level is around 4.3 billion and the uh, enterprise value is between 4.2 and 5.2 billion. So the distance to the, from the default, the default is the red line, is not too far. It is a highly levered company, but it is still okay. You can see on the right hand side they are very low uh, expected losses in credit risk. So what, let's see what happens if we put into a different uh, macroeconomic environment here. Let's call a stress test. The risk cover 
has the opportunity for, for the analyst or for the managers to define any uh, selected macroeconomic environment and see how your portfolio or your uh, credit risk is going to react. We just stress it by three factors, which means lower GDP growth for the next five years, higher inflation and higher risk-free rate. So now on the top, you can see macro environment stress test. Before it was market consensus. And now by a push of a button, we activate the stress test and see what happens with our loan. OK, so now you see that it's still 4.3 billion, the debt level, because that's never going to change. But the enterprise value of the company reduced from 4.1, 4.5 billion British pounds to 2.8, 3.5 billion. So now, actually, the company and the creditors, the lenders, are underwater. And uh, this is what happens after the Lehman collapse, that before everything looked fine with low expected losses, but after when macro environment changed, although it was the same company, same product, same industry, the creditors just suffered huge losses. So it's very important to know where you stand and put yourself into context. On the right hand side, you can see the credit loss losses, which is significant now. It is around 20%. So I showed you how risk aware can save millions of dollars in credit losses and how to make you understand credit risk. We ran a stress test in one of the major CE banks, and we saw that had they been using risk aware, they could have saved $8 million in a $250 million portfolio in one year. So that's very significant money. Thank you for your attention.